If you've been keeping score with Fight Night picks, the Dream Killer could be on your radar. But for those who might be unaware, Gaston Bolaños may be the most heralded, or once heralded prospect, welcomed into the UFC in some time. As always, welcome in with Fight Night Picks. This is the series keeping score. If you've never checked it out before, we definitely appreciate it. And boy, do we ever have a topic for you today. He's appeared on the Joe Rogan Experience not once, but twice. He's a multiple time national and international Muay Thai champion, boasting a 23 3 and 1 amateur record and a 13 and 1 pro turn. But inside the circular cage is where he's been able to put on some of the cleanest displays of striking you'll ever see. Less than six months removed from a failed Lion Fight super lightweight Muay Thai bid, a resurgent boy Lanos made his MMA debut at Bellator 172 against a much beaten Abner Perez. Bolaños' power in his right hand sent the fight to the mat, earning the Peruvian his first victory in mixed martial arts. Bolaños would then spot a kickboxing pit stop against former ISKA and WKU champ Luca DeSanto before switching back to the four ounce gloves and squaring off with NorCal's Brandon LaRocco. By the result, you would assume it was the jiu-jitsu that caused Gaston to lose, but it was LaRocco's right hand that briefly knocked Boilanos to the mat in the first round, and in the second stanza, a spinning wheel kick to fly knee combo that sent Boilanos into no man's land, where finally LaRocco was able to mount a triangle and roll into the finish, putting the dream killer to sleep. Undeterred, Boilanos would return before year's end in 2017 against a similar opponent to his debut in the 0-1 Rick Gutierrez and hit one of the crowning moments of that year. The Rogan appearances, the training opportunities, the main card slots, hey, the interviews with Fight Night picks, all of it, those were to come for Boilanos. And then things soured. As a massive 10 to 1 favorite against scary Daniel Carey, a gritty veteran with a less than perfect record, Boilanos was set to feature on his first main card with the promotion, just a 40 minute drive from his home base of CSA Gym in nearby Dublin, California. Carey opts for a straight right in that fight. It's ducked by Boilanos, and with the neck in perfect position, Carey jumps for the guillotine and he was able to sleep the Peruvian for his second career loss. It was a quick rebound in February 2020 that would see Boilanos squaring off with fellow rising prospect Solo Hatley Jr. And in that one, Boilanos' loud striking was quieted by Hatley's relentless pressure wrestling. And although Boilanos was able to damage from compromised positions in the first and second rounds, only one judge saw the fight his way, and Hatley was awarded the split decision victory. A two year layoff would ensue, seeing Boilanos' longest career streak on the sidelines. And though the occasional sparring footage with Kyrian Fitzgibbons would drop, the Dream Killer's long awaited return faced an uphill battle, with three link bouts fizzling before the news dropped of an old foe that would be down for the rematch. Over two and a half years since their meeting in the same building it occurred, Scary Carey stepped in on nine days notice, and with a fear no evil stomach tattoo, Carey would eat leg kicks the entirety of the first round, a front kick near the end, and a last second right hand to ground and pound finish would earn the dream killer the deciding victory. Now, a year exactly to the day since Boilanos' last victory, he'll be looking to work his slick striking and one-shot power against two-stint UFC vet and BJJ black belt Aaron Phillips, the nickname's The Dragon, in his first action in almost three years. Phillips has had a couple of these layoffs, three years stints of inactivity during his career. Thanks so much for tuning in with Fight Night Picks and keeping score. Be sure to let us know down in the comments section of what you like from the series. Make sure you check out the previews and predictions for this week's event. And as always, you can find us at Fight Night Picks here on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. You're going to want to keep it locked in with Fight Night Picks. And as we always say, let's get into it.